Good evening, everybody, and uh, happy summer solstice. Oh, happy Saturday. <laughs> happy Saturday. Happy Sabbath. Sabbath. Happy, happy Sabbath day. Oh. Uh, my name is Walking Crow, and uh, this is Transformational Safe Drum Medicine. I want to welcome to everybody to the solstice celebration, the solstice ceremony, honoring uh, the longest day of the year, honoring this time of the year where, where, where the seeds that we planted in springtime to grow and nurture, to feed us later in the year, we're gonna spend time and we're gonna create the intention of, um, of nurturing, uh, nurturing those seeds and watering those seeds and tilling the soil and pulling the weeds around them. So when, when fall comes, when autumn comes, the time of harvest, we have a full harvest. We already have a full harvest. We don't live in lack. There is no lack. That's what the summertime is about. The summertime is direction of the south, the direction of the child, the direction of spirit, whole spirit, the direction of air, heart, lungs, air, I love, I'm love. Heart, lungs, air, let me repeat that, I love, I'm love. Or heart, lungs, air, I don't have the capacity. I don't have the capacity to be loved. This is the time in the new moon tomorrow to make a choice and a decision. Am I, do I, can I, will I? Oh, I already do. <laughs> I'm already going into this knowing who it is I am, what it is I do, and what it is that I have. Seen or unseen, that's beautiful. Now I'd like it to look behind me at the incredible grandma, what I call the grandmothers and the grandfathers. And if you look at them, and if you look closely, you will find the entities, you will find the faces in those rocks of those ancient ones. The ancient ones that are with me, the ancient ones that teach me, that taught me how to make a drum, that taught me how to make a rattle, that taught me how to make mallets, that taught me how to speak this way and do what it is that I do. Um, I was telling Stephen earlier, there is there are no books to teach you what it is that I do. I am the book. I am the oral tradition, and I will share with anybody that's willing to listen and wanting to learn. I am just that way. Um, and I was the little kid that always told to be quiet, go outside, shut up. Right? Uh, I had to overcome all those obstacles in my in the first half of my duality of life to become who and what it is that I am right now. I hope to speak this way and to be this way and to do this way. I am in the being of the doing and the doing of the being, and I will ask you to do the same. I hope and that's all we have to do. We don't have to live up to any marker. Nobody's marker. There are no markers in this world. Of course, for me, uh, I do what I do because I do what I do. I don't know what anybody else does, but this is what I do. And I get to honor you by doing it. I get to honor my ancestors by doing it. Oh, shit, say it. And I get, to, I get to do what I call bringing the sacred back to Sedona. Because if you walk around Sedona, you don't see any Hopi, you don't see any Zuni, you don't see any Navajo, you don't see any Yavapai, you don't see any Apache. Where are they? I am Tarumara from Chihuahua, Mexico, the Copper Canyon through my mother. I am Perepeche through my mother from Jalisco, Mexico. I am uh, Chichimeca through my father through uh, Guanajuato, Mexico. But I've never known my people. But I honor my people because they honor me by teaching me what to do with these medicines and these waves. Uh, I have a ceremonial lodge in Los Angeles that I never go to because I live here. But they taught me when you don't, when you are not able to go to ceremony, go to lodge, carry lodge with you, carry ceremony with you. And when there is no ceremony, create ceremony. Hey, thank you, Great Spirit. Thank you, Great Mother. Thank you, power and the guidance of the medicine wheel, the four directions. Oh, oh, thank you, all my relations, all our relations. They're not just mine, they're yours too. Thank you to the, 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 the winged, the two-legged, the four-legged, the creepy qualities, those that swim. Thank you to the sun, the moon, the stars, the, the skies, the heavens, to the grandmother trees, the water, all the four elements that live within us, air, fire, water, earth. Oh. Oh. I'm going to sing a song. Uh, hey, 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 na, na. 
Hey, 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 man, man. Hi, oh, man, man. I, oh, uh, Great spirit, I am here. I am ready. I am here. Great spirit, you are here. You are ready. You are here. Great spirit, we are here. We are here. We are here. Uh, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to be careful how I say it, but I'm going to say it anyway. Sorry, not sorry. The metaphysical types like to call in spirit, bring in spirit. Well, that's a little arrogant, and I, I don't believe in that. So I present myself in spirit. I present you in spirit. Spirit is already here doing what they're doing. Yeah, they don't need to be brought into anything. They're already there doing it. So I honor them by presenting myself. And this song was given to me. Uh, I used to hike up at Bell Rock. And this song came to me well, one day, one summer day, at 100 and whatever degrees, sitting there offering tobacco, offering sage, and drumming. And they said, sing this song. <clears throat> I'm going to use a rattle, as a matter of fact. relatives that has been in your lineage that you haven't even known yet as a child. It hasn't been born that will be born later in your lineage. At the Skyrock Institute. Thank you, Stephen, for having me. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you all that, uh, that have been uh, with me today in the other class that I taught. Thank you very much. I'm honored to be here. I am honored, honored, and honored to be here. I can't tell you how much I'm honored. I just want to make sure this isn't burning. That's right. Good. One day I put a, a rattle down. I was in black at a ceremony a year and a half ago. 
fire chief that was taking care of the fire and I was doing the ceremony and I put a rat down and I picked it up and I was like, oh, it didn't want to come up off of it melted, off of it melted. I still use it, I still carry it around today. So I uh, just want to make sure that all those things are done. So um, one of the things that we're going to do, we're going to be going into a, a 10 to 15 minute journey with this big drum. This going to happen I'm going to ask you at one point I'm going to come around with tobacco ceremonial tobacco these these are tobacco are, are, are the tobacco that people when they come to see me as a healer they come and request a drum or a rattle to be made part of the offering is they bring me tobacco and what I do um, when I make drums or I make rattles I create the sacred water I have a pool at home that I, I, I use for hides about this size, and tobacco goes into that pool. And my house is surrounded by lavender and mint. It's surrounded by roses, yellow, red, orange. It's surrounded by all kinds of beautiful different plants of the desert. The roses are not from the desert. And all those go into the water with the tobacco. The cedar, the sage. Um, uh, uh, I'm from Los Angeles, so when I'm in my mother's house, she has mint, she has two-color rabbit tobacco, she has olive trees, so I take all those elements, they all go into the water, the water, and where I make drums in Sedona here in Cornville, I have a beautiful grandmother oak tree where I make the drums. So when those leaves fall into the water, that's part of that medicine too, and I can't wait till the big ones start to grow and I get to smoke those medicines. Now, coming into the time of the full moon tomorrow, the eclipse, the full moon is a time of new beginnings. Um, uh, any intentions that you have, uh, and I usually have people write things down and drop it into the fire, but you can't do that because things burn around here. We don't want to do that. So instead, I'm going to have you uh, 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 speak those intentions to your heart and be with those intentions. And then before we go into journey, I'm going to ask you one at a time to take tobacco, because I'm going to go around and hand you tobacco. And um, I'm going to ask you to get up and offer your, your, your uh, intentions of which you want to let go into the fire. Any blocks that you may have, whether it's verbal, whether it's physical, whether it's emotional, whether it's um, whether you're, you're not grounded and you're insecure and you're surrounded and you're safe and you're security, uh, whether you feel like you have low self-esteem, you want to let something go that keeps you having low self-esteem, um, whether you want to grow a bigger heart and go into your heart space, heart, lungs, air, I love, I, I love, I'm in love, I love, I'm in love, I, I love saying that, I love saying that I am love because I am love. Oh, you know how long it took me to say that? It took me over 15 years to learn how to speak. Oh, and I'm happy to say that. So, uh, after that, after after everybody goes around and we offer their tobacco to the fire, I'm going to say a prayer and I'm going to go into the drumming and I'm just going to ask you to relax, lean back, relax. You don't have to do anything. You just have to close your eyes and allow the medicine of the drum the grandmother to work through you, to work to you, to work for you. Oh, oh, Some of you have some heaviness in your hearts. The rest of us will be with you. You don't have to say it, to do anything, you can just, you just felt that. So, uh, I'm going to start this way, and I'm going to ask you with your left hand to take the back, and then I want you to transfer it to your right hand. Left hand is Divine Feminine Receiving. Divine Feminine Receiving, it's duality to the right side of Divine Masculine Giving. The, the right hand, the right side gives to the divine feminine. We come together in the sacred place of water. We, where we're birthed and where we birth. Uh, 
worlds. And we live in our duality. We all have a duality. No one escapes duality free <laughs> or duty free. Uh, so I'm going to ask you to take it with your left hand, receive, and then place it in your right hand. And when I ask you to, I'm going to, when we're done, I'm going to ask you to just sit with it for a little bit. I'm, I'm going to sing a song. And then when I'm done singing the song, I would like you to start with the offering your intention to the tobacco. And then uh, as we go around to the young lady, you, my new friend, um, uh, I'll, we'll, I'll go into the drum. I'll, I'll sing another song. And I'll go into the a uh, home is kind of like uh, all, it, it means all my relations. A home in Pakurat means all my relations. I use it as an exclamation, to make a point. Uh, that's just the way it's been for me since I started this journey. decided what, my, what I'm about to sing, but I'm going to ask you all to close your eyes and be with the tobacco. You can feel the, the different types of medicines, not just tobacco, you can feel sharp things in their sticks, and some of those are, are cedar, some of those are juniper, some of those are cypress, some of those are sage, some of those are, are, are pieces of the leaves that come off that oak tree in my yard. Some of it is, is uh, roses, yellow, red, lavender, mint, spearmint. All these medicines that you're holding in your hand. All these medicines you're holding in your heart. All these medicines you're holding in your voice. All these medicines you're holding in your root, in your foundation. All these medicines you're holding in your water, your sacred. Replace them in the fire. Replace them, I can, I will, I do. Oh, shit. Got excited. All right. So, um, I don't want to play this drum till it's time. So, uh, I'm gonna grab a drum. So we're moving into the full, the, the new moon tomorrow. This drum I birthed on the full moon two weeks ago, and she's beautiful, and she's dear. She has, she carries all the same medicines that you're holding in your hand are in her. But there's something special about her. I tied it with 16 ties, and in every place of the ties, there's a red rose, a yellow rose, a red rose, a yellow rose, a red rose. Now, flowers are the highest vibration on earth. But roses, red roses, are the highest vibration on earth. So, not only did the, I raise the vibration making this drum from the full moon, the guys asked me to add the flowers and raise it even more. And this, I normally don't do this, but this is taught, this is deer hide, and this is deer bone was tied into the handle as they asked me to do. So this is a very special drum, and I think it's only appropriate that I chose. The song I'm going to sing is um, 
because somebody, some, somebody here is, is having difficulty in my mind. I felt the emotion in my heart. There's a song that I sing, hey, hey, Sheyanaya. Hey, hey, Sheyanaya. Hey, 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 hey. Take me to the river. Take me to the river. Drop me in the, wash me in the sacred water. Wash me in the sacred water. The sacred water are your tears. Where do tears, does anybody know where tears come from? Where mucus comes your from? Your eyes! Your eyes are very good. But it comes from a deeper place than that. It comes from that place that you heard when you were in utero. It comes from the place of heart, lungs, air, I love, I'm love. It comes from the lung space. When you have mucus, those, that comes from the lungs. Water comes from the same place. So allow your tears to wash away your things as you sing this song. I sang this song for a year. And on March 19th, it was revealed to me what it meant in the image. I didn't know it. And I was over at the Verde River at the Dead Horse Ranch. One day I set up my camera on my phone. I sat down on the river and I pointed the camera towards the water so my audience on Facebook and around the world could see. And I started to sing. And as I started to sing, I started laughing because the guys were telling me what the song meant. So I was able to share that for the first time in English with my audience and with my heart. So I was very, I was really happy. And that happened here in Sedona, over at the uh, Air Force Ranch. If you've never been there, check that out. There's a, there's a bald eagle that lives there that likes to make fly. So I'm holding it.
Oh, shit. Oh, no. Great, great spirit, great love. How are the guys? Those that need relief, find relief. Those that find up, want abundance, have abundance. Those that want happiness. Those that are waiting for sadness. Those that are waiting for grief. That they are able to let the grief melt away through their hands, through their feelings. Allow those that are stuck in the thinking, the thinking, thinking of the darkness, the Gu to come into the Ru, the light of the soul. Gu to Ru, Guru, darkness to light. I am walking crow. My job in life is to help you move from darkness to light. Alchemy, to be shapeshifter, to step into your new life tomorrow. There are many obstacles in the world right now. The obstacles are none of your business. There are none of mine. I don't get involved in that. I ask you to do the same. And some of you say, how do I do that? I have to live your life. Live your life through the doing. Through the being. Through the being. that you close your eyes leave your feet flat on the floor continuing the connection with Mother Earth some of you have created that connection in another room earlier be in that connection be in your ground
So as we come to the close of the ceremony, or I should say before we close the ceremony, I'd like to take this feather fan. I'd like to stand in front of each one of you and clear, remove, brush away those things. Brush away the And allow them to be purified into the goodness that you want in your life. The life that you want to have life that you always wanted to have and maybe somebody took it from you. They snatched your dream. She had not cool my answer. No! Oh, say! It's your dream. It's your life. It's your voice. It's your heart. I love you. Love you. I just wanted to chime in. The same way we did the, the back call. We go around and just brush a little bit.
the one saying that in the ceremony, I will love you, my child. I will love you, my child. It's a promissory song to love the self, to love the inner child that we may have left behind. And we need to bring them forward to integrate them. Man, woman, who we are. Designing this young man gets to see this tonight. Turn into her memory and into her heart. <laughs> uh, I usually end the ceremony with everybody holding hands with because of the circumstances. But, um, uh, I just want you to take a, a couple of minutes to sit and look across at each other, across the spoke, across the drum. Just take each other in. Allow the, the warmth of the fire to, to glow, glow in your face, glow in your heart. I want to thank Deborah for having find me. <laughs> Who she found me on Facebook? I don't know. Stephen, for the openness of his heart and the openness of his mind. Uh, he's got good people around him. And I'm, I'm honored. I'm honored that he's standing here. Excuse me. Uh, uh, please take my card. Uh, if you ever need my services as an energy healer or I tell people, uh, he needs to get some time skilled at the drum call, the rattle call to you. Make one for you, you can purchase one. Spirit blanket through there. Uh, or if you want to come to come to Cornville and make a drum with me, you can do that. Uh, I want to thank everybody. I want to honor you. I wish you the best summer solstice. That, that your time forward. Forward is not about backing up. Going back. It's about moving forward. It's about the tower from the tarot card, it's about the full medicine, it's about dying so we can be reborn and you. I honor the direction of the South. I honor all the directions, but today we honor the direction of the South, direction of the child. I'm so glad she's here. Direction of the child, direction of spirit, direction of wolf. Wolf is protector. Wolf is solitary but needs the pack. Wolf will eat a rodent, a rabbit, whatever, but if he really wants to eat, he hunts with the pack. Oh, solitary. Direction of the South is snake. It's about the shed. It's about the medicine. The shed. Ground. Shedding that skin. It's necessary to be shed. I normally hand out uh, acorns. And, 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 and acorns are important to me because an acorn, when it falls from the oak tree, doesn't grow into the mighty oak as a green seed. That particular seed has to, all seeds have to die in and of themselves. And I always say, like the Christ consciousness, it had to die to become the ascended master, if you will. We have to die within ourselves to become, to let go of those things, to shed all those things. They are not ours to carry, they never were. They will be the stepping stone to take us into the future. The stepping stone to take her into her future. Oh. And all we have to do is become willing to say yes. Let your yes be yes. And your no be no. So be in the doing of the being. Be in the doing. Honor you too. Thank you. Portion. Portion of the Does anybody have any questions? We'll do that. This is Kelly. Hi, Kelly. How are you?
Good. Kelly and I seen each other, but we haven't spoken. That's right. Let your intuition pick the one. Okay. She made tea for us. And then there's like meditation. The other one. Um, Good to see you too.